A couple weeks ago, Utah gig tuber John Billings challenged me to a gig war. I go head to head against Welty and we see who does better in which market. Challenge accepted. Now for the stakes. If Welty wins this challenge, I'll send him a brand new Bluetooth converter that will turn any of his vehicles he's driving into a Bluetooth vehicle. And if John wins, I'll be mailing him a gift card. No, not an empty gift card like we gave the Amazon warehouse worker. I'll be loading onto the gift card exactly how much John Billings beats me by. So the margin in which he beats me will matter. The more he beats me by, the more he'll be rewarded. If that's not betting on you, I don't know what is. Welty, I'm coming for you. You better beware. I will beat you in this challenge. I am ready for war. I got my war paint on. It's actually L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara but today it's war paint. I've got my cape and I've got my DoorDash scheduled for 7 a.m. That starts in about three minutes. Good luck, John. I did not even have to wait a minute. I did not even have to decline any orders to get my first DoorDash. Within two minutes, I got offered an Uber Eats stack. We're looking at 18 bucks and some change for the first two deliveries. That's a bad sign for you, John. If I get off to a hot start, you're in trouble. Hey, I'm thanks for shipping Severs. What can I get started for you? Just picking up your DoorDash for Nishali. This is a bummer. Opening at 8 a.m. this morning. Gonna have to cancel that order. John, you caught a break. I don't even get partial payment on that because it's Uber Eats. Good morning. Have a good day. All right, it's time for one of the sit and wait portions of my shift. I'll actually, I'll be a little more loose with the orders that I'm willing to take today because we're not tracking efficiency or mileage or anything like that. It's just a volume day. Purely how many dollars can I turn over? So I'll probably do some orders, especially early, especially in the morning that I wouldn't otherwise do just to keep me busy. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Have Thank a good you. day. See, now this one is one that I would typically be on the fence about. I typically don't play under five bucks, but during this challenge, I just need as much action as possible. See, something like this will end up less than a dollar per mile because I'll have to retrace my steps here. I'll have to come all the way back, but I think it makes sense time-wise to turn over $9. I can maybe get that delivered before the end of the first hour, it's possible. So we're looking at a pretty decent start here. Okay, heading north a little bit is gonna work out a little better. I got this stack offer from IHOP and then Grubhub came in and I took it. I was gonna triple stack it because I knew by the time I got there, it'd be after eight o'clock when they said they were gonna open up. Well, I get there and they're telling me it's gonna be another 30 minutes before they can get 12 glazed donuts ready. So I just canceled it. That restaurant now has cost me a good bit of time so far today but at least I've got two Ubers now. That makes the mileage more efficient here. All right, pulled up at the house. I think I'm gonna break long enough to feed the dogs, use the restroom, take a little break, touch my paint back up. The 9 a.m. hour is starting soon. That means it'll be 6 a.m. where John Billings is. Maybe he'll be waking up soon. We've got two extras with us right now. We got some Rover puppies. This is Nova. They're Labradoodles. There you go, Nova. Enjoy. And this is Muffin. Both Labradoodles. They're really cute. But I must get back to the task at hand. I don't have an order yet though, so let's hope it doesn't take too long. Unfortunately for another 30 or 45 minutes, I think I'm stuck taking sub $5 orders on low mileage. Obviously I just spent the last 30 minutes with no action. So I did get to talk to John, I had a FaceTime call with John that you guys can see on his channel video. I'm hoping for a few more small orders before a prosperous lunch shift. How you doing, doing that? Yeah, 959. Nine. Appreciate it, Welcome, thank you. Man. I'm gonna hang on to this McDonald's real quick and swing by Starbucks to pick this up since the uh, delivery address is in the same sort of direction. So this low tipper here on DoorDash is gonna have to wait a second. Uh, hey, for Ashley? Yes, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. How you doing? Man? Yeah, doing good, man. Have a good Appreciate day. Appreciate you, dog. You have a good one. Yep. 
Here's the screenshot for the delivery. I share this just to show that I've not had any peak pay yet today. I doubt that I will. It's possible, I guess, um, but it hasn't been a factor yet. I accepted this, Walmart Spark. I haven't done Walmart Spark ever again since this. It's been 88 minutes. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. So I don't know that this is the right decision. This, I could go either way on this. Hopefully I can get it done in less than an hour. But if I've got a long wait at the Walmart or they lose the order like they did last time, um, this could be a disastrous decision for me. Spark is telling me my ETA is a little early for that pickup. So I'm gonna show up a little late and handle this Grubhub order beforehand. So this could work out now. If I can get this done and the Walmart Spark by 11.30, then that'll be close to a $30 hour. That'll be well worth it. How's it going? Got OSN 523 and 529. Yep. Everything's loaded up for Walmart Spark. I'm feeling good now. It appears this is going to work out. Let me head to my deliveries. Spark order done at 1120 and I've got my next Uber to go pick up. This officially starts lunch shift for me. I'm going to attack these next few hours with everything I've got. I will say people are treating me better with this going on. No one's being rude to me today. I find that interesting. You don't want to mess with a guy with war paint on. Ain't that right, John Billings? You also don't want to mess with a guy with L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original on, but <laughs> that's a different discussion. I also had one lady, she goes, is it Spirit Week? Hey there, Hello. Sonia. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank Absolutely. You. I appreciate you. Have a great Thank afternoon. You. You well. Multi-app stack going on right here. The restaurants are neighbors and the drop is in the same general area. Let's go. I did get a free Coke out of that Wingstop order. Thank you to them, shout out. I think this order, my delivery here, is to the police station. So that's fitting. Hey, I'm looking for Sarah. Okay, um, let me call her, okay? Okay. Delivery made, got a nice $2 hidden tip on there. Puts me at $125.08. It is almost 12.30, exactly halfway through the 11 hour shift. That puts me on pace for 250. I don't know if I can keep that up all the way, but 250 would be a very good number. At this point, I would have to say I'm feeling good. I would be surprised I would be impressed if John is on the same sort of pace. The problem is between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., it does tend to slow down in my market pretty significantly. I'm a little worried about that. If John is behind me, I think he's gonna have a chance to make up some ground during this part of the shift. I do have a goal right now of kind of working my way back toward my house because it's time for me to uh, address the dogs again, give them some attention. So I'm hoping for an order that pays me to go back over there. Otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna have to go anyway. Okay, as I say that, I accepted this. This order doesn't really do that for me, but it kinda does, I don't know. I think it's a good relay. I think it might set me up in a good position for one that will. So, I'm just gonna handle this one. Arrived at my customer, they said not to knock. So, I'll just be leaving it right here. It's about that time in the afternoon, the sunglasses might have to come on. I've got this order to go do, so I'm gonna have to wait on going home. This delivery is to my bank, which is also really convenient because I needed to come here anyway. I got my order that takes me back to the house. It's gonna be a shop and pay order though at Target. So hopefully this isn't too difficult, but this works out for me. Nice and easy, let's keep it moving. Let's see if I can hit a bullseye right here. All right, officially at $149.02 before this break I'm about to take. I'm trying not to take too long, but I gotta take care of these dogs. That's really my chief responsibility today. Let me try and keep this under 10 minutes. I can go ahead and start looking for my next order as I do this. Let's go, let's go. It's time to switch y'all out. How you doing, Muffin? How you doing? 
Two out, two in. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, they just spilled the water. Let's go, Brady. Let's go, Peyton. Come on, Peyton. Brady's turn to eat. There you go. Peyton, it's also your turn to eat. Enjoy. I'm going to get right back to it after I call John. I think he's ready to have his check-in with me. I'm going to tell him how we're doing, and hopefully I'll be able to read his reaction. I'm going to save my check-in for later. Just spoke to John. I, I tried to screen record it, but it wouldn't let me screen record and FaceTime at the same time. I don't feel like I got a good reaction out of him. I'm not sure if he was impressed by my numbers or not, because I'm sitting at like, just, I'm sitting around like 21, 22 an hour right now. So who knows? I'll know later when I check in with him how he's been doing. Once again, heading back down the interstate, it's almost two o'clock PM. So this is the exact dead time that I was worried about. At this point, I'm, I'm basically taking anything. For the next two hours, I just need to stay busy. I need to take whatever I can get. This is a pretty good start to it. This dude is, I don't know what's going on over here. Dude needs to get up. Is he asleep? My man is chilling. They got another cop to come wake him up. Oh, they're gonna help him up. Come on up. You'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. We're just gonna we're just gonna have to arrest you for public intoxication, probably. Don't forget your hat. Put some sunglass. Put them sunglasses up on top of that hat, boy. They just searched his pockets, and he was clean. I don't know. Maybe you gotta let the man go. He's clean. Oh no. We're going to the car. Oh no, they're taking him. Don't resist, don't resist. Don't play that game. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk right here. I don't know where John is at. I'm gonna check in with him in about 30 minutes. But while it's slow, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do this. I'm gonna take the time to go jack up some three-pointers in the gym. Little do they know I'm a bad motherfucker on the court. First play, hit him with the cross, up fake. Next play, wide open three, like wet. The yard take a notice. I take a charge, but they don't even notice. Don't leave him open, his jumper is poet. Pat on the back, feel like a black. Dap, dap, dap. All right, now let me hope that doesn't make me look like an idiot when I call John and find out how he's doing. The cape got a little bit of a different reaction at the liberal university than it did the police station. Tell you what, all this delivering food, I think it's my turn to eat. I'm gonna do a six piece spicy nugget with barbecue sauce, please. And, yes. and a loaded baked potato with cheese, bacon, and sour cream. I won't have much time to eat because I've got an order, a DoorDash order, another shop and pay at Target, four more items. On the way, we're gonna talk to John, see where he's at. Oh boy, I was wrong. I was wrong, I'm getting cooked, actually. I mean, he's ahead of me right now with three hours more to go. That's not good. I don't think I can make it up. I don't have enough time. I've just gotta do as good as I can because the margin in which he beats me matters. So I've just gotta close this out as good as I can and try and narrow this lead he's got. I'm conflicted on what my strategy should be at this point. Do I, ge do I keep steady climbing and trying to hit just over $20 an hour to limit my loss? Or should I just sit here and cross my fingers that I get massive bangers? I don't know. And here I am as I sit here and get no orders. They didn't put sour cream in my bag or a plastic utensil. So I can't even enjoy my potato. Oh my God. Should I go play some more basketball or? <laughs> I think I made my decision if I'm gonna take an order like this. I'm just gonna try and get myself above 200 bucks, limit the loss here. I've got a little over an hour and a half left until 6 p.m. This kind of helps, got this on the way. This Dollar General is right next to the restaurant. So I can shop for this while we wait for the food. I can kind of double whammy this thing and make 15 bucks in a short amount of time here. Hey look, it's 
my friends selling some capes. Get your capes in Rock Hill, baby. Come see us. Come see us in Rock Hill. Another piece of bad luck. Store closing at 4 p.m. It's 4.30. So, that's Dollar General for you. I don't know if I'm getting half pay for that or not. I'll have to check later. Golly, I'm trying to keep my head in it, but that's, you know, that's $30 worth of orders that have been canceled on me today because the places have been closed. So that freaking sucks because that's not typical here. It's five o'clock with that delivery. I'm just short of $200. I'm officially in desperation mode with what I'm willing to accept. I'm, I'm just hoping for something great. I feel like I'm settling even with this order here. I took it because it puts me around another hot spot. The drop off is in a good place. So I can get at least one more order in after this before six o'clock. Delivery made. I'm back on the uh, Winthrop campus. I, I swear to God, I swear to God, somebody just yelled Black Lives Matter at me from 80 yards away. And if you see my cape and you think it's anti-black, you're watching too much CNN, man. You, you gotta turn the TV off. 205.98 ends up being my total. I'm not gonna get half pay for the Dollar General. I even talked to chat support about it. I said, I've got video evidence of it. And they said, well, we're not giving you half pay because supposedly... Uh, they kept that order active and eventually another dasher took it and by the time that dasher went there They were opened back up again. So the dasher was able to do it I said look, I've, I've got video evidence that when I was there it was closed um, So but no, I'm not gonna get any luck on that 205 98 that's 1872 an hour for the 11 hours. Honestly, I thought that that would be pretty good um, I'm, I'm happy for John that he's gonna beat that Hopefully he doesn't run the score up too much. He's he's going to be working. I've got to head straight to Charlotte for the Hornets game. And he's going to keep working and, and run this score up. And uh, he could make this pretty expensive for me if he keeps working hard. As John finished up his shift, Allison and I went to the Hornets game. And I tried my best to get on the Jumbotron and get John some subscribers. John closed out his shift with just over $231. That's enough for the win. I will be loading $25.08 onto the gift card for him and sending it his way shortly. Thankfully, one of the rules John set was not to count peak pay or else he would have beat me by 10 more dollars. He's also part of the LOP. I'm not in the large order program. I'll be interested in watching his video to see how much I think that helped him out. Make sure you guys hop over to his channel, hit the subscribe button, and watch his video for the winning perspective to this challenge. Congratulations again, John, and thank you for the idea because while I did lose and will be sending you $25, I still feel like I came out ahead. Without the competition and without the encouragement, I don't think I would have pushed myself to put in 11 hours and make over $200 before the Hornets game on Monday. And that, I think, is one of the most important messages I hope you guys understand from this gig war this audience that I'm building here on YouTube, this subscriber base, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. The fact that one of you decided to challenge me and push me, which in turn I helped push him, and we bettered one another on Monday. That's what this thing's all about. I hope you guys enjoyed the content surrounding this gig war. I will see you next time on Wealthy. Lance, you always taking them ropes. Hey. Conference roommate day in the wolves. Hey.